It's like no greenhouse I've ever seen. To give it its proper title, this hydroponics glass house at the Blakenham nursery site in Bramford in Suffolk covers the area of 11 football pitches, the most high tech of its kind in the UK. The first crop is in. It's just a baby. Come September, thanks to a combination of nature and science-based nurture, each plant will reach up to 15 metres. The whole point of this glass house was two things. Really, it, it was to be as ecological as possible, so to use as, as little energy, to have, to have as low a carbon footprint as, as we can possibly have. Um, equally, we need to be as high-tech as possible to do that. A CO2-enriched air filter system, nutrient-enriched water, red LED lights and controlled summer-like conditions all help the plants grow optimally. So the plants are actually still in their cubes. They're not actually planted into the, into the grow bags yet. And you can see that when you squeeze them, there's not much water coming out because we want the plant to think that its time is coming to an end. So it, it, it puts all of its focus into producing tomatoes and tomato trusses. Come March, they'll be growing about 35 centimetres a week, so about a foot a week. But the project is far from being all about the money. Every single drop of water, even the condensation, is saved. Plus, and this is the best bit, they have some six-legged friends to help them. One thing we want to do is use as little chemicals as possible. Um, so we use beneficial insects to, to eat, lay their eggs into any bad, potentially bad in insects that we get. With that, we also use natural bumblebees uh, in, in small hives so that they do the pollination for us. Hertfordshire-based Amberside Group has helped them raise the £15 million for the project, but it's all come from private individuals, including many of the locals. Private individuals from, um, have put in from as little as £100 in their ISA to finance this incredible place. Even before putting the um, information together for the investors, we, we pre-sold and agreed the prices for the crop. Now, unfortunately, we agreed the prices pre-Brexit and they were competing against the imports. So um, I think the supermarkets may have done very well out of the first year of the crops, but we're not complaining, it's still profitable. Sterling Suffolk Limited are hoping for further investment There's a big extension planned. In total, this could become as much as 17 hectares of, of tomato glasshouse, which will be employing at least 150 people. And this super system can be used to grow other crops. So they're not putting all their eggs, or tomatoes, in one basket. Becky Jago, ITV News Anglia.